can the way a character enters a room give us insight into that person's personality? Well, the answer to that question will be found in your next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom. Yesterday, you discovered a key to giving insight into your character's personality is how that individual is dressed. A second way you can give insight into this individual's character is to describe how the person enters a room. This is a technique that's often used in movies. I picked up this idea from Michael Haig, a storytelling and scriptwriting consultant. It's actually as simple as, as I've described it. Talk about how the person enters a room. For example, yesterday I described a man who was wearing an Armani suit. Very successful. Well, you could take that description a step further by saying, he walked into the room with an air of confidence. Everyone in the room stopped to look at him. He shook a few hands, but never smiled. He strode confidently to the head of the table and sat down. Everybody followed suit. What does that image portray? This guy's a leader. The people in the room obviously felt and understood his power position. There may be some respect. There could be fear. We don't know. But we do know this is an individual based on his dress and the way he entered the room and sat down. This is a person in power. In the story of my client, Patty, I describe her dress, she's very successful. However, the way she approached me and she moved through the room completely contradicted her air of success. She had this beautiful suit, these jewels that looked like they were out of Tiffany's box or Jimmy Choo's. And by the way, if you're a guy, Jimmy Choo's are really nice shoes. The women watching will understand, dudes, we just got to trust that these are really nice shoes. So this is what Patty's wearing. She practically ran up to me with a look of desperation on her face. And her first words were, I understand you're a speech coach. Just that simple action of, of moving quickly across the room with that look on her face gives you the understanding that she's in some kind of pain. She's got some kind of issue that needs to be solved. Think about the image that is conveyed in just two, three, four sentences when you describe how the person is dressed and how he or she enters a room. Most speakers don't do this. They give long, drawn out backstory that loses the audience interest. You want two or three descriptions of how the person's dressed and two or three descriptions of how they walk into a room or move across a room. That's all we need to know to set that person up so we have insight into who that individual is and why they're important to the story. Tomorrow you'll pick up a third idea on how to describe your character and you can do this one in just one or two words. Talk to you then.